Reaper, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing great things here at Reaper. Stephen A. Smith, also known as Stephen A. Bitch and Stephen Ain't Shit and Stephen on the Django. If you're not familiar with this guy, he's a sportscaster on ESPN, you know, with a bow haircut and a loud mouth. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. But Stephen A. Smith went hard on Kyrie Irving because Kyrie Irving said at the beginning of the season, he did not want to take the vaccination. And Stephen A. went hard on Kyrie, you know, um, calling him a backstabber, saying he's letting his team down, saying he's stupid, he's dumb for turning down 30 million, you know, calling this man everything in the book, the Reaper Keep It 1000. But here comes Aaron Rodgers, right? Aaron Rodgers got caught lying and he's the Green Bay Packers quarterback he got caught lying saying he was immunized and he wasn't immunized lying about you know um, taking the vaccination the Reaper keep it 1000 but Stephen A got on TV and said yeah he lied or whatever he didn't take it you know, so what? I like Aaron Rodgers, you know, but he should be punished. But I like him. He didn't have the same intensity and the same energy, you know, for Aaron Rodgers that he had for Kyrie. And we know why this is. Because he's jealous of Kyrie Irving, number one. Because he's an NBA player and Stephen A., Played a little college basketball, but didn't make it to the NBA. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And then, you know, it's more watchable and more entertaining when he goes hard on the superstar black athlete instead of the superstar white athlete. The Reaper keep it 1,000, a.k.a. a zaddy's boy, as Kwame Brown would say. Shout out to Kwame. Uh, but this is what Stephen A. does with black ball players, and he's black. And this is why the Reaper made a video that said Stephen A. is the first black racist against his own people that I've seen, where he's a true racist because he will put down the black ball player all the time and go hard in the paint on him. But when a white guy does the same thing, he just brushes it up under the rug and people call him, you know, a sellout or a coon. And all we're asking is for Stephen A to be fair. So because of that, Stephen A bitch, I mean, Stephen A shit, Stephen on the Django has, you know, put down another black ball player once again and swept a, a white ball player sins up under the rug when Aaron Rodgers could have infected everybody. He lied about it and he played in football games. He could have affected his team. He could have infected everybody around there by lying. But Stephen A never went hard in the paint on him. Kyrie Irving said before the season because he was wearing his mask and everything, he wasn't going to infect anyone. He didn't care whether you took it or whether you didn't take it. He just wasn't taking it. And he wasn't playing this season. And he wasn't around his teammates and stuff like that. Stephen A went off on him. But let Aaron Rodgers slide up under the rug. And this is the problem that Jason Williams had with him, Jay Will, on, you know, first take. 
he said you don't have the same energy for Kyrie Irving that you had for Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Rodgers could have infected a bunch of people the Reaper keep it 1000 but this is why the Reaper say to y'all that nigga need to be popped in his mouth the Reaper keep it 1000 pop that nigga in his mouth you know and make him shed up his big mouth you know this nigga pay for pussy right I, can you imagine Stephen A on the top of some pussy him fucking you know that he ain't paying for nothing you know that bow head motherfucker know he pay for pussy and you know what he know he need to be backhanded in his mouth the reaper keep it 1000 you just backhand that motherfucker in his mouth how come one of you New York niggas ain't backhanded that motherfucker in his mouth just walk by him and pop him in his damn mouth the reaper keep it 1000 that's what needs to happen because see Stephen A don't think he'll get popped in his mouth pop that nigga in his mouth you know when you pop that nigga in his mouth you backhand him in his mouth you give him a backwards and forwards one you know that's with the back of your hand and slap the shit out of his ass like a pimp with the forward hand and call him a bitch you Stephen A you bitch you bitch ass hoe ass nigga shit that's what Stephen A is he's a hoe ass nigga that's why he get on TV talking like a hoe all the time. You know, criticizing athletes or whatever. Kwame Brown should have popped him in his motherfucking mouth. It's going to be one of these motherfuckers that give, do an interview, right? And they're going to put a foot to his ass right there in the interview. And it's going to be on TV. Because he going to think he can get away with that shit. And they're going to put a foot right to his ass. You know if a motherfucker got to walk around with bodyguards all the time. And he's just a sportscaster, right? Why is that? You know, why does a sportscaster have to walk around with bodyguards? Usually, they want to come up and be friendly to you, like Shannon and Skip. You know, I'm just being honest. They don't have to have no bodyguards. Skip Bayless don't have to have no bodyguards. Shannon Sharp don't have to have no bodyguards. Because people want to meet them. But this, this bold haircut wearing... You know, uh, snaky looking, you know, Scooby-Doo looking motherfucker, Stephen A. Smith. He has to walk around with bodyguards because he be doing some shady shit or whatever. You know, somebody need to set this nigga up with some pussy, right? And he think he get some pussy and then just pop him in his motherfucking mouth. You know, set him up with some pussy. You know he paid for pussy. Stephen A., we know you paid for pussy because you know why? You just angry and bitter all the time. Have you ever saw Stephen A with a bitch? Huh? I ain't saw Stephen A with a bad bitch. I ain't never saw Stephen A with a bitch at all. He probably he probably had a few bitches. But why is this nigga still single and he in his 50s? And I don't think he's ever had no kids or ever been married. What does that symbolize, Stephen A? What you be doing, Stephen A? Hmm... How did you get that job, Stephen A? Stephen Ass. You probably be Stephen Ass. Call him Stephen Ass because he probably be giving up ass. The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> Stephen Ass. Mm -hmm. But Stephen A. Smith does it once again, you know, uh, criticizing and being critical of the black athlete. Reaper... We keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper, because I'm doing very good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.